Hello and welcome to Sunday. It is pretty much 8 o'clock on the dot. Well, 8.02, but uh, it's beautiful weather out. I think it's like 40, yeah, 43 degrees out right now. So laundry just started. Yesterday's vlog is rendering. Um, I'm going to go for a run. Okay, we're winding down for the evening. Um, had a good day today. Got, did the typical Sunday stuff, laundry. Um, but the, oh boy, I, I think I'm going to have to wait for the update for, um, the whole, uh, KDN live thing. I could not for the life of me get it to work and I doubt that the update will fix it. It should be happening sometime this week. I want to say it was like the 21st or something or 22nd, maybe Friday. But yeah, it's, it's not going to happen. Uh, I spent hours trying to get it working. And even if I did get it working, I think I would need to do it manually for every single clip that I import. And some days I would import, you know, anywhere from like, typically it can be ranging from just one clip to up to like over 50. Uh, obviously 50 is a rare, rare exception, but given the circumstance, if it comes to that, then there's just so much to do. So what I'm thinking is instead of trying to mess with that, I just go with my gut instinct and switch to DaVinci Resolve. I know I said I really wanted to focus on the open source stuff, but sometimes you gotta make compromises, and DaVinci Resolve is a good compromise. It's a freeware program that does upgrade you to, that does have an upgrade to a commercial license. However, uh, it's cross-platform. I don't think any other application that is, you know, professional studio grade, is cross-platform like that. Um, I know um, that Premiere, Adobe, we hor horrible company, great program, horrible company, is supported um, for Mac and Windows. Uh, Vegas, what I use, is just Windows. Maybe I could run it through Wine. Resolve is probably better anyway. Um, KDN Live is cross-platform for everything, but... It's uh, not working out, unfortunately, and uh, that sucks, but you got to make compromises, and this is just one compromise that I guess I have to make. I know it's really against my philosophy, and I don't know, I, I could hit up the forums, and I probably should. I will attempt to message them in a bit maybe just hit up the reddit and be like hey i've been trying to do this for um hours now and i can't i got it to work one time and i don't know what to do uh i could say it's something to do with the color profile and the importing and i've read this article and i've tried to do with the importing, I tried export the export settings, trying to manually flag it with the PC setting, um, and nothing's working. Uh, I could send them some, some test footage and be like, "Here's my footage. What export settings do you use to get the correct colors?" And that have it that be that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know. It's gonna be a rough kind of. I guess res resolve is probably the best thing to do. Uh, having like an industry grade application that I know it's not open source, but 
freeware and it's probably good enough for me and if I want a perpetual license isn't too bad it's like three to four hundred dollars depending and who knows might go for that anyway I think that's what I'm gonna call it for today uh, I guess I'll learn result tomorrow thank you all for watching I hope to see you tomorrow and until then later